from New York City, where we continue to monitor this breaking news. Former President Trump found guilty on all 34 counts in his historic hush money trial. Jurors coming to that decision after nearly 10 hours of deliberations behind closed doors. We are monitoring reaction, including from former President Trump, who spoke outside the courthouse just a short time ago. Our live team coverage begins with our Glenna Melberg, who has been reporting for us from New York City. Glenna. Calvin Nicole, an unprecedented history in the making here in Lower Manhattan. The former president of the United States, now a convicted felon, 34 counts of document fraud in the state of New York with an intent to commit a crime. And prosecutors here say that crime was to sway the election in 2016 by hiding sex scandals, by hush money payments, by silencing women that he allegedly had sex with so that voters would not know about it during his presidential campaign. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. And the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. You have a Soros-backed DA and a whole thing. We didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man, and it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting, we'll fight till the end, and we'll win. Because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now from prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists. And they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble. But this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. And we will fight for our Constitution. This is long from over. Thank you very much.